You might remember this story back in 2019. A beach bluff collapse in Encinitas on to beachgoers killed three people. A year later, part of that same bluff also collapsed. As our Sofia Hernandez shares, local scientists have been experimenting with new technologies, hoping to predict a cliff erosion before it happens. Throughout the years, researchers have tried to come up with better solutions to better predict when a cliff might collapse. But there's a new tool and a bill that will hopefully provide more accurate data into when bluffs like this could fall before they do. You will know, see a, a rock wall that looks like solid rock and, and it, it could just fall over. Mark Zumberg is a geophysicist at Scripps Oceanography, the latest addition to a team of researchers led by Adam Young, who has been studying cliff erosion for years. Zumberg, however, presents a new piece to the puzzle, fiber optic strain sensors. We stretch this in a borehole and we're essentially measuring the change in length of this optical fiber as the ground moves. A tool that generates 200 samples of data per second, measuring the tiniest of movement, looking for any signal that a bluff could be slowly collapsing, something we've seen more frequently in recent years. It's clearly something of societal relevance. There are uh, people have lost their lives. But the new tool is not studying the cliffs just yet. It is waiting on the passage of Bill AB66, which is looking to accelerate sciences like the tool Zumberg is working on, as well as create a possible warning notification system. Zumberg says while they are not the first group to attack this issue, he's hoping to create the most accurate data. We have hundreds and hundreds of miles of coastland in California and cliffs, and it would be great to find, uh, to get a better understanding of, of how we can tell where the, where the riskiest places are. If the bill passes, the team hopes to observe two areas with the fiber optics and other technologies. One would be along Del Mar, the second at the Beacon Estate Beach in Encinitas. There's a uh, access point to the beach that's built on top of an old landslide and we'd like to find out how it's moving. Is it just con continuously creeping or does it uh, stay still for a while and then move? questions they hope to answer soon, working to keep those in California who frequent the shores safe from harm. Don't always listen to warnings as we've seen. And you're hoping this technology would hopefully one day serve to be that forewarning. Yes, we hope. We'll see. Now this bill is waiting to be heard by a committee on August 16th. If passed, the work will be funded for three years and begin on January 1st. In Sunset Cliffs, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News.